Hey everybody, today Rado runs through Blueprints, which is a brand new game from Z-Man Games that's debuting here at Essen 2013. It's a cool, cute little um, architectural dice building game, for lack of a better term. Um, very, very neat, and basically it's pretty early in the morning. I'm wide awake. It's going to be a few hours before we go to Essen, and I figured, what the heck, I'm just sitting around doing nothing. I might as well do a run-through since I picked this up the other day, and it's really quick and easy to learn. It has a very small footprint, as evidenced by the fact that I'll be demoing it on this kitchen countertop in the kitchen of the apartment I'm staying at. I'm trying to be quiet. I've shut the door. I don't want to wake up any of the people I'm staying with. I'm, I'm bumming a couch while I'm here. But anyway, I'm just going to do a quickie run through, just a, a couple of quick rounds so you get an idea of how this game plays. Now, in this game, we are architects. And at the beginning of the game, um, we each, well, we get a screen, so we hide what we're doing. And we each get one random blueprint from the deck of blueprints. So I ended up with this blueprint that wants a building that's kind of just skinny and has multiple stories. So you can see of the six building spots, I can only build on three of them because that's what the city requires. Jen, meanwhile, she got a slightly more complex one. Um, it's, uh, it only has two places she can't build. Now, at the beginning of the game, um, for a two-player game, we pull eight dice out of the bag, completely random. We don't know what they are, and we roll them. I've already done that, trying to be quiet. Oh, and also, two dice are chosen randomly um, to be the in-demand materials. Now, these numbers don't matter. It's just the colors. Green is recycled material, and that means for this year, the game plays over three years. For this year, green is in demand. And next up, orange, which is wood, is in demand. So these serve as tiebreakers. Whoever builds the most with green will break ties for awards and stuff like that. And then if, if it's still a tie, whoever is built with orange will break the tie. So let's go. Now, every turn, it's very simple. All we do is, um, and I'll be the first player, you take a die and use it as a building material. And actually, there's one of each of the four colors. Here's wood, um, recycled material, stone, and glass. Each one of these scores differently at the end of the round once the building is done. And what I'm trying to do, if I can, is build according to this blueprint. Because if I do, there are six bonus points to be had at the end of the year if I, actually, if I perfectly match the shape of that building. So that's what I'm trying to do. But I've also got a bunch of other goals. I also want to have a building that scores more points than anybody else based on how I use the building materials. And there's these other ones. If I can build a building that's five stories tall, I can get some points. If I can build a building that has four of the same die number, whatever the number is, I can get points. So there's a bunch of, of little mini objectives I'm trying to do. Um, while adhering to the blueprint, although I don't have to. Like, for instance, if I was really trying to go for this one that requires I build five stories high, it would be impossible. But you know what? Maybe I decide it's more important to go for bonus points than the six points of following the blueprint. But for now, I think I'm going to follow the blueprint and see how that goes. Okay, so I get to pick any of these eight dice and build with it. And I think for starters, because green is more valuable than normal, it's the tiebreaker, I'm going to take this green to and I'll put it right there. Okay, and now, this is only in a two-player game. For more players, you don't do this, but in a two-player game, you replicate more players by, not only do I take one, but I remove one from the game. So I'm gonna take this other green, and, um, you know, actually, I forget, do you throw it back in the bag? Let's take a look here. Um, Thing. It's like another die. Oh, no, it just gets discarded. So this other green is removed. It's just gone. Oops, I should get rid of the five. Now, the reason I'm doing that is because I'm trying to monopolize green because it's the most valuable. It's in demand. It's the tiebreaker. Okay. And then at the end of my turn, two new dice come out to replace the ones that are gone. They get rolled. And now it's Jen's turn. Now, we're going to do this for six rounds. Um, each of us will get a chance to take and discard in a two-player game six dice. Um, as you can see, you know, all the buildings basically are composed one, two, three, four, five, six. So here's Jen's turn. What's she going to do? Let's see. Now, the interesting thing is, you know, she'd like to grab a green too, but the, you know, because to stay in contention for the tie breaking stuff. But the tricky thing is I grab the two, the low number, because now if I want to build higher and you can see, I need to build higher, I can only place um, things with a two, three, four, five, or six. So I can place anything on top of this, any color, any number, except for a one. So I would not be able to place this here. So putting low numbers at the bottom gives you a lot more flexibility to continue to build. So that's really powerful. Now, um, so Jen, she's thinking, well, she should grab one of the greens, um, you know, to, to not give up the first player, the, the tie breaky stuff, but they're higher numbers. So they'd be hard to build on. However, Jen, follow her blueprint, has two spots that don't want anything built on top of it. 
So what the heck? She's just gonna go on ahead and she will build a green there. So, and then again, she has to discard one. She doesn't want me to continue, so we're just like gobbling up the greens. Maybe we should start paying attention to the browns as another tiebreaker. Okay, and then two more come out. Alrighty, and some glass and some wood. No more greens. Alrighty, my turn again. Let's see. Now, there's the, the things we can go. If, if another two could come out, it might be interesting for me to build with it because um, there's bonus points to be had for all the, you know, four of the same number. There's also bonus points to be had for five of the same color. Um, bonus points to be had for having a straight, one through six. So maybe I want to take this one and start trying to work on a straight. Um, I'm probably not going to go for that. Yeah. I think that's interesting. I think maybe I will. I will actually try to go for getting a straight. And since there's a one that's made out of wood, that's not bad. So let's go ahead and do that. I will put this one over here. Again, I can't put it here, but I'll put it here and it'll be easy to build on because it's such a low number. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of one. You guessed it, the brown. Two more come out. And oh, okay. Well, now there's other things to bear in mind besides just trying to be the tiebreaker because only one of each of these awards can be given out this year. And so if we both successfully complete, say, the five of a color, whoever has the most of the in-demand will be the only person to win that. And then just follow the second tiebreaker. But, you know, maybe we're not even going for the same awards. We have no idea what the other person is building or how they're... so, And it's behind the screen, so you have to pay attention. If you see somebody going for a lot of a certain color, that might clue you in, etc., etc. But anyway, what's Jen going to do? Now, she's got this green. Nice thing about greens, the way greens work as scoring, for every um, green, for every additional green you put in your building, scores, you know, like... Multiply. One green in your building is two. Two greens in your building, five, then 10, 15, 20, 30. You, all six spaces of your building are green. That's 30 points. That's huge. Since the green came up, I think Jen's going to just try to continue to go with that. Plus, she could get 30 points for having six greens, and she could get this for having five of a matching color. So, it's a five, though. So, she couldn't put anything on top of it. So, she's going to put it in this other space that she doesn't want to build up on. Okay. And she'll get rid of the brown trying to, although now she's less worried because she's in the lead on tie-breaking stuff. Two more come out. I just drop one on the ground. And two browns, okay, my turn. Let's see, third round of six. Hmm, let's see, one, two, three. I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna stick with my plan of trying to build uh, and try and go for a straight. So I'm gonna take this three, it's the only three that's out here, it's glass. And I could put on either of these. I'll finish this portion because remember I only want it to be too tall. So I built with glass there. Um, and the way glass works is basically, oh, then in which case, I shouldn't take that one. I'll take this one. Glass, at, for its scoring properties, basically whatever its number is. So I just got six points. The value of my building just increased by six because I got it. So I'm not going to take the three. I'm going to take the six. So that's pretty nice. Okay. And now, what am I going to get rid of? What do I not want Jen to have? Hmm. If there are green, that would be the obvious one. She's already ahead of me on the tiebreaker, so I don't know. I might give up on that. In fact, I think I'll get rid of the other go. Oh, but if she doesn't take it. Remember, because I need, I'm trying to go for a straight, and this is a girl. So if I leave it out here, she, if she doesn't take it, because she's trying to go for something else. Oh, tough choices. I don't want her to have it, though. That's just too nice. So that's gone. Two things come out. And it's another glass and a stone. All right, now her turn. I see. She would have liked to, and now unfortunately, she's not going to be able to get a perfect six of green because there just aren't any more greens out. We kept killing them. Um, so what is she going to do? And just remember, she needs to start building up. She needs to build two on each of those spots. Ah, she likes that glass. That was really nice. Now she has got saw me get six points. She's just going to keep up with the Joneses. She's going to take a six-pointer glass as well. All right. And what will she remove? I guess another glass. All right. Two more come out. See, is my screen? It's kind of fuzzy. Oh, huh, that's kind of weird. Yeah, I guess I have kind of a soft Barbara Wawa lighting effect here. Sorry about that, folks. Oh, my turn. A green. You know I'm taking it. And now we're tied back up, but it's a six. If I put this down here, say, the only thing I can put on top of it to finish my middle tower is another six. Now, there are some sixes out there. So, plus, if I take this six, I've given up on my straight because I'm going for a one, two, um, six. I need a three, a four, or a five. Ah, 
that's going to be tough. I'm running out of space here. Hmm. And again, I could go back for the tiebreaker. Oh, cheapers, creepers, peepers. Let's see. Now I can build with wood too. The way wood scores is you get bonus points. Yeah, let's go like that. Yeah, there's definitely something on the screen. Shoot. Uh, I'm just making it worse. Hold on a second, folks. Hmm. Whoa, what the heck? There is moisture inside the camera lens. Oh dear, I don't know what that means. It's inside though. How did that happen? Uh, problems at Essen. Well, I guess hopefully that'll dry out. Cheaper creepers. Anyway, you can still see. Sorry, folks. All right. Oh, I want this green, but that'll be tough to build on. But there's a lot. Yeah, okay. I'm getting over my straights. I'm going to put it over here. Well, actually, I can put it over here because I don't need to build on top of it to finish my blueprint. Okay, so I've done that. I'll get rid of a... Just, uh, I'll get rid of this one because this is going to be the easiest thing to build on. I don't want it to be easy for Jen to build on. Two more come out. Arr. Ah, okay. Let's see. Here's another green for her. She's going to take that. It's going to continue. Um, she'll put it over. She can't put it on any, or she can put it there but she doesn't want to. She wants to follow her blueprint, so she'll put it there. And she'll get rid of, hmm, she'll get rid of, she, um, yeah, the glass. Just, she doesn't quite sure, so she'll get rid of the glass. Right, and she knows, once again, she's in the lead for green, if she's paying attention, that is, because remember, these are behind the screens. Two more come out. Glass and stone. My turn. Okay, I've got to get two more here. It's going to be easy to build because it's a two. Let's see, and now I could get my three, so I can go back to trying to get the straight. Oh, but I've broken the straight because i got two sixes. I won't be able to do it now. Um, maybe I'm, let's see what else I want to do. I, well, this is just three points. That's nice. There's no media greens. Now I think I want to, um, I want to use a stone at the very end because the stone scores, the higher up it is built, the more it's worth. But I'm just going to leave those stones. I'm going to try to build on top of it for my little final turn. And in the meantime, oh, if I could build a five, right, this brown five, but the, the, for them to do their scoring thing, they have to be built adjacent to each other. So I, ugh. I'm running out of time. I'm, I'm running out of space. I don't have any. Yeah, I'm just gonna take. I'm just gonna take a point. It's not the greatest thing in the world, and I'll get rid of one of the browns. Two more for Jen. Almost to the end of the bag. All right. Oh, and she got a, something a little bit easier to choose. Now she got this this six glass here. That wasn't very smart because she can only build sixes on top of it. And she doesn't want to hit her blueprint. So I think while there's a six available, she's gonna put that there. Okay, and she'll get rid of the four points for this glass because that would be very nice. Last or last round, final dice. Then we have to go dig up that die that fell on the ground. Let's see, two fours. Alrighty, and right. So now, mm, if I this if I put this glass on, this is the last glass. It'll be worth four points at the top. Um, but if I put this six, this black round six, a, um, a stone cares about how high you build it. So this is on the third floor. Uh, no. Yeah. So this would be worth five points for getting a stone up on the very, very top of my bed. And as you can see, I have built according. I'll get rid of this last glass. I don't know what Jen wants. I just don't want her to have easy points. Yep. I got to go get the other die. Hold on a second. Oops. Well, I really hope my screen, my, uh, I don't know what to do about this moisture thing. But anyway, here we go. Um, roll the final two dice. Jen's final choice. She wants to build right there to finish her blueprint. She can put a three, four, five, or six there. Let's see. She wants a green, but there are no greens. If there had been one more green, she could have gotten um, the... Uh, oh, no. She needed five greens to be able to do that. So it doesn't look like it's going to help her getting any of the bonuses. So she just needs to build the thing that's worth the most points. These browns by themselves are worth just two points. So I guess she'll build a stone because that'll be worth three points. Boom, we are done. We have both built, and now, now we score them. We both successfully followed our blueprints. That means we both get six points. And now we start based on the building materials. So we just go through them one at a time. Um, wood, and it's, there's a nice little reminder right here. Wood, is since there's only one of them, it's going to be two points for me. Jen had no wood, so she gets none. On to green. Basically, if I used two green. That is five points. Um, all right. And Jen used one, two, three green, so that's 10 points. So that was 16. All right, on to the black. I got a black on the third story, so that is five points. 
one, two, three, four, five. Jen got two blacks on the second story, so that's uh, three points apiece, so that's six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And now finally, our glass. So I got a, let's see. So I've got six plus one is seven points for my glass. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And Jen, she only built one, so she got six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And there you have it. Um, this year, Jen made the most impressive building, and that means she takes the award for best building and gets two points towards her score at the end of the game. Um, and if we both tied on that, whoever used the most green, which would have been Jen, would have broken the tie. Now we can check the other ones. Anybody build five stories high? No. Did anybody use four of a, of, a, of a same number? I don't think so. Nope. That would have been something we had to be certain for as well. And uh, No, we, neither of us did. Although I had three sixes. One more six and I could have had that. Err. Nobody has five of the same color, and nobody has a straight, although I was trying for that. So none of those other points, all that fighting over green, didn't matter because we didn't get anything. That was the end of the first round. We put all the stuff back in the bag, we get new blueprints, and we play two more years. At the end of the game, whoever scored the most points wins. That's it. That's blueprints, folks. Uh, now, I haven't actually gotten a chance. I played this uh, at the show. Somebody showed me how to play. It's the only game I've actually had to play. I thought it was really, really cool. Picked it up. And that's just a quick run through. I think it, uh, right off the bat, I think it's got some interesting, tough little choices, but it's just fun to build. And, you know, uh, really quick, really clean, easy to play. So that's Blueprints. You can check it out at Essen if you happen to be watching this. Uh, it's, uh, and I imagine it'll be coming to a store near you soon. But anyway, that was it. Thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, if anybody has the rules and I made any mistakes, uh, please let me know. Although I would blame the person who taught me how if I made any mistakes. It's their fault, not mine, for a change. Okay, and it looks like maybe the, the fog is clearing. I'm going to have to go read about this on Google. Thanks for watching, everybody. Talk to you later. Uh, bye bye